Hello everyone, welcome to Pokemon TCG Center Mario with you and today I have another Night March deck review. This time Night March will be played with uh, support for uh, with Wileplume, Anum and Shaman EX. So the Anum, the Wileplume is the new card that is printed in, a printed in Ancient Origins, 130 HP, early titan pool and which says each player can play any item cards from uh, his or her hand. Excuse me, just want to see the trade that I just complete. Okay, I cannot see it. Anyway, sorry for that. Um, while plum uh, irritating pull and each player can play any item cards from his or her hand as I mentioned before. So with Night March you will do tons of damage and you will be and your opponents won't be able to play item cards and that's pretty good to have. You also have two anons with four wheel ladder which will allow you to draw a card if you have Anon into your bench, so that's also a good card to have in this deck. And there are also two Shaman ZX for setup, when you play this card from your hand onto your bench you might draw cards until you have 6 in your hand. I mean, this is just deck in beta version, so this is version 1.0. I didn't put any switch in this deck as you can see right now, but I think that switch will be a pretty good option in this deck. Um, also as a Skylar when it reprints, so you can just uh, search your deck turn 1 for Forest of the Giant Plants if you don't have it and with the uh, Ultra Ball you can just set up for 6 with Shaming and set up your Wild Bloom turn 1. Um, so let's see what we have in this deck. We have two Shaming ZX as I mentioned before with setup. We have line 3 to two, uh, Wild Bloom uh, for the support. Also we have <coughs> for the main attacker, <coughs> excuse me, Four Night March Joltix, four Lampens, and four Pukaboos, also with Night March. Then we also have two Anons, as I mentioned before, with four four wheel ladder. Um, I decided to play three Battle Compressors, which will allow me to discard three cards from my deck. For uh, searching, I have two Level Balls and a four Ultra Balls. I also decided to play two Trainers Mail. This will be only good for the early game. Uh, when you don't have a uh, wild plume in your play, um, trainer's mail will allow you to uh, search your uh, look at the top four of your cards of your deck and reveal trainer card you find there. Expect trainer's mail. Two versus secret. You don't have to uh, play more than two in this deck because you have wild plume. And once you put wild plume in your deck in your bench, all item cards will be just useless. One AZ, one hex maniac. Why do I play AZ? I play it just for shaming, so you can scoop up your shaming back and remove it from the play, uh, so your opponents won't be able to draw two prize cards uh, when he get knocked out. One Hex Maniac, just in case you play it against maybe Age Slash, so you can't knock out him with a double colorless energy. Just play Hex Maniac and shut down his ability, and also shut down your Wild Plume ability and play item cards that you need. Um, two Lysanders. 4 Birch Observation and a 4 Sycamores for Drop. I also have 2 Dimension Wallies and 2 uh, Forest of the Giant Plants. Uh, only 1 Muscle Band, no need to play more than 1 because you can play item cards and you also can do a lot of damage with your Night Marchers. Uh, 4 Double Colors Energy and 3 Grass Energy. As I mentioned before, this is just a better version of this deck. Um, you can check 60 cards uh, net. I will put a link in the video description so you can buy all the cards that you need. Also, don't forget to check that web page. It's a great community page, and you can find more deck discussion, discussion, and lots of crazy things about Pokemon TCG. Um, so, as I mentioned before, this is better version. Maybe you should play two Hex Maniac, um, maybe even two Azs. Uh, maybe only one versus Seeker, maybe just remove Trainer's Mail. But as I mentioned before, this deck needs a lot of testings, so that's the reason why this is just version 1.0. So let's do some testings and see how this deck will actually perform in the game. Okay, let's do the testings. It's a tail, so I will try to go first actually. And uh, let's see if I can set up my Wild Plume turn one. And I didn't get Adish. 
in this turn, but at least I got two Joltics and a Birch, so I can go for Birch and possibly draw seven cards. Okay, so I should probably just go Birch over Sycamore. I'm not sure if I have a second uh, Wild Plume in my deck, and it's a Tails, so at least I got a Ultra Ball. So I can draw um, Shaming. Let's see if I have two Shamings in my deck. Yes, I have. And I also have two Oddish. Let's set up for five. Okay, so pretty good hand, I must admit. Um, there's Battle Compressor, actually. Um, let's just discard for beginning three Lampants. Okay, three of them already in the discard pile, so Rayquaza should probably take 160 next turn. Um, let's see what else I can draw with Trainer's Mail. Okay, there's a Sycamore. Well, not bad. And let's just pass the turn for now. And hopefully he, he will play a Skyfield next turn. So I can just remove Skyfield with a Forest of the Giant plant. Uh, the good thing is he won't be able to knock me out without a muscle band. I'm not sure if I should attach this energy so I can retreat with this Joltic. I need to play a Sycamore anyway, so I think that that would be a smart option. Okay, so there is double colors energy. And actually switching Pikachu. He just evolved into Mega Rayquaza. Okay, so... Pretty interesting. Oh, what a top deck. I just draw a Oddish. Oh yes, that's pretty dope top deck. And let's just go Sycamore. And I can actually a draw right now. Um, Wild Plum. And probably before I do that, I should just attach this um, muscle band to my Joltic so I can do more damage counters and there it is, it's a Wild Plume turn 2 and that's all you want to do actually, actually so my opponents won't be able to play item cards so he, can not, he cannot knock me out and that's pretty amazing and as you can see it's a GG so 280 damage without any problems, so I managed to get a first victory. I must admit that my opponents didn't draw a the best hand, but uh, at least I got a turn 2 Wild Plum in a play. Let's do one more testing, because this was a pretty fast game. Okay, so let's flip the tails. Okay, so let's start the game first. Okay, so it's a West Pikmin deck on the other side, so having a Wild Plume in the early game should be a pretty good, and I must admit that I start pretty good. Um, there is double colors, but I shouldn't probably play, play double colors right now. Let's just go for Shaming. Oh. Okay, I already played a Dimension Wall, so... Okay, there's a Joltic. Uh, I should probably go Ultra Ball for one Oddish. Or let's just go for one more Shin. We can scoop, it, uh, scoop up uh, Shin later uh, um, easily. Okay, so... Let's knock out Anon. Okay, so there's Chant of the Forest. Forest of the Giant Plants. Um, right now, I really need a Birch. I need that Oddish, turn 1. Okay, so 7 cards. And there is actually Oddish. But before I do that, I should probably just drop a... One more card with Anon. Okay, so it's a energy. 
and there's bell compressor so let's just discard those necessary lampens um, from the deck that we actually won't need and I can discard one more card and that would be probably Versus Seeker maybe oh no I shouldn't discard Versus Seeker I don't think that's a good option how much Glums do I have there is one two of them one two of them um, let's just discard one more Pukkabu so we can do a more damage counters but that's pretty much all I will do a third one so at least I will be able to a uh, hit hard so there's battle compressor and he can actually uh, attack in turn one and knock it out my bookaboo I have already one two three four five night marchers and five night marchers will be enough to knock it out any of his um, Pokemon because they are all under 100 uh, HP uh, expect a shaman okay so there is shaman for 5 um, he needs really he really needs switch in order to retreat this unknown because he cannot use his ability uh, when he is in active spot and right now I'm seeing a second ultra ball probably for another combi and there is Sycamore, so he already have 13, 13 cards in this compile just like I have and there is Trainer's Mail, so top decking Glum, 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 whatever next turn will be pretty badass um, because I'll be able to prevent him from playing item cards and that's pretty interesting, I just top deck a level ball, so Let's just put a wild plume into play. Actually, I wouldn't do that, so let's just pass the turn for now because. If he cannot retreat, but he won't be able if he cannot discard a one energy, and if he don't have a Vespi Queen, he won't be able to knock me out. So I should probably just charge a second Joltic because I don't have a energy right now. And uh, there is Lysander probably for Wild Plume, and that's what I expected. And double core synergy, so he should probably a uh, retreat right now. Oh, he wouldn't. So the only problem is uh, having wild bloom in your active spot. And I'm not running a any of those. Uh, Switches, you should probably attack some switch with Hex Maniac so you can retreat your Wild Plume if you find him in an active spot. Okay, so there is a Fitted Town and a Sycamore. So this game should probably end by uh, decking out either me or either my opponent so I should probably see right now sweet a retreat and uh, knock out on my wild plume okay so only 90 damage right now okay so let's just pass the turn um, I feel kinda bad by playing this energy on the wild plume Okay, so he's already on 13 cards left, so...
Okay, so let's go with Pupkabu in front. And okay, so I just tap the trainer's mail. And I got Sycamore. I really need those energy cards, so that's the reason why. Well, let's better play. No, I'm not sure if he have maybe stadium card or something like that. Let's just knock it out his Vespi Queen. Next turn I can um, draw two prize cards and that's shaming. But I should probably don't do that. I should probably just go for Vespi Queens. Um, who first lost uh, his uh, Vespi Queens or Night Marchers? He should probably lose this game. So my opponent is already on 11 cards and I'm on 14. So I'm a little bit advantage right now, but he I have two shamans on my bench sitting, so I should probably just uh, scoop up them with AZ. And I'm seeing my second wild plum in the play. Maybe. Okay, so he just decided to discard three more cards, and I think that this move should probably cost him a victory in this game. Oh, so there's Lysander for my Joltik. Well, luckily, I have second Joltik on my bench, and he just draw one prize, and I can just scoop up my AZ, uh, my uh, Shame with a AZ, and that's the why you want to do. So there is a second Adish, so I will just Night March him right now for 140. And he have one more um, Wespy Queen ready, and I have a second Joltik sitting on my bench with double colors energy. Let's see how many energies do I have. So I have only one more double colors energy either in my deck or in my discard pile. Okay, so six more cards remaining in his deck. Um, I should probably take advantage in this game. Okay, so there's a Versus Seeker probably for Lysander. Oh, for the teammates. Okay, so he should probably not go for my Shaman EX. Let's see what he can pick with uh, his teammates. Maybe he have a Seeker Dash or something like that. So he can put back his Vespi Queens and Combis. So, four more cards remaining. I'm on the 13 cards. At least I can win on uh, decking out my opponent. And I have Versus Seeker ready in my hand for AZ so I can scoop up my Shaman. And at least have more prize cards left than my opponent. So, he won't be able to knock me out, uh, knock it out my Shaman this turn. So let's just go in front with Joltik. Let's just go versus Seeker for AZ. Okay, so Night March and draw one more prize card. Let's see. It's a Birch Observation. Okay, so I really need. Let's see how many stadium cards do I have. There is one dimension wally. Oh, I have two dimension wallies in my discard pile, so I won't be able to get them. And there is only uh, already three Joltics. So it don't looks good to me right now. So he should probably just set up for six. And I really need energy. But I have two Lysanders and I can... Okay, so there is energy switch on Shlurkov. So this shaming setup will knock me out, and uh, I will probably come in front with my Pupkabu. Oh, 
Okay, so let's just play Lysander and pass. Two more cards remaining on my opponent's side. Two more prize cards, so I'm not sure if he can win this game. Um, especially right now when I Lysander him. And I already have one more Lysander in my hand, so even if he retreats, I will do again Lysander and burn his uh, one turn. So this game looks uh, will go to my favor. Okay, so he just played a energy, so I will do a Lysander or not. Let's just pass the turn. And he is on one pri one card left. And there is actually setup for shaming and 30 damage. Okay, so he come in front with a Shlopa with energy, but I will just Lysander him again. And I will just pass my turn or not. Maybe he have a birch in his hand. Okay, so there is unknown for anything. For nothing, excuse me, GG. Yes, it's a GG. It's a GG, as you can see, my opponent just says uh, GG. So I actually managed to get two victories with this deck um, in these testings. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, yeah, I do it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you need any of these cards, don't forget to check the uh, link in the video below um, uh, for the 60 cards. Don't forget to um, check the um, 60cards.net. If you need any of these cards, they have a tons of good cards uh, for a pretty good price, so you should probably do it. Okay, so so thanks one more time for watching. I'm still waiting for my opponents to quit this game. <laughs> oh, he's interactive right now, and it's a victory, so. One more time, um, there is my deck list. You can see it right here. Um, have a nice day and bye.